thank you all for uh, for coming out. Let me just ad adjust this microphone. Well, for the next 90 minutes, we're going to walk around and uh, through the cemetery, and I'll talk mostly about the people who are buried here, and a little bit about the cemetery, uh, the art uh, of the stones, and the, the culture. As Michael said, this cemetery was created in 1841. Um, if you think back to uh, other cemeteries in Massachusetts, like the old Granary Burying Ground in Boston and some of the cemeteries in Concord, in colonial days, cemeteries were very uh, austere, kind of threatening places, and they reflected the attitude of society towards death, that it was something to be feared and something, uh, something bad. Um, I guess if it happens to you, it's bad at any time, but um, in the 1820s in Massachusetts, attitudes changed. People like uh, Emerson and Thoreau, writers from Concord, started changing the way we looked at the relationship of uh, human life and nature. And kind of as an outgrowth of that, uh, some people in Cambridge created the Mount Auburn Cemetery, which was the first garden-style cemetery in America. And that it was beautifully landscaped. It had all kinds of trees and shrubbery, and it was a very natural setting. And it reflected the attitude that life was part of nature, and that really, life, and death was just an extension of that. And uh, ideas from the Boston area rapidly were transmitted up here to Lowell. And so, in 1841, a group of uh, of gentlemen in this city purchased 50 acres of land here. Uh, for $5,000 to create a similar garden-style cemetery. Now, to pay the purchase price, they divided it up into um, uh, 500 lots, and they sold the lots for $10 each. Um, and so for $10, you got space for 30 burials. And you'll see uh, how that worked out. Now, um, so the cemetery was a private institution. It never was and it never has been affiliated with any church. It's not affiliated with the city. Um, it's, a, it's a private corporation. It's still an active cemetery. Now, um, this is not like one of these uh, timeshare tours where you get a free tour but then a sales pitch for a <laughs> unit. Uh, but if you uh, are interested, um, Michael Lally would be glad to uh, discuss that with you. The price is slightly higher than $10 a lot, uh, but it's still very reasonable. And uh, his ties to Lowell, he really didn't have any tie to Lowell, but Lowell was such a boom town in the years before the Civil War and right after the Civil War that it was natural for him to come here and he set up his medical practice. Back then there was no pharmaceutical industry. Doctors came up with remedies. They'd write out a prescription and usually they'd give it to the patient who would take it to a pharmacy where they would mix the, the, uh, the medicine. Um, well, Thompson started mixing his own medicine as part of an adjunct to his medical practice. And he came up with one, this one thing that was pretty popular. It was kind of a syrup for upset stomachs or stomach ailments. And it was very bitter tasting. And it became very popular. People would take a couple of spoonfuls either before or after the meal. And uh, they at least thought it made them feel better. So uh, eventually that became so popular that he closed his medical practice and went full-time into producing this medicine. And to help advertise it, he came up with a fictitious story, a backstory to where he learned about this medicine. And he said that an old army buddy of his had been traveling through South America and had been introduced to the medicinal properties of the gentian root, uh, the root of a tree. And that army buddy's name was Lieutenant Moxie. And so the name of the medicine was Moxie Nerve Food. Uh, and uh, it, as I said, it became very popular. Uh, he started producing in 1876. He went into the business full time. Um, eventually, around the turn of the century, the federal government started passing pure food and drug laws and it made it more difficult to sell medicine. So what had happened was the medicine was so bitter that people took to diluting it with water. Well, Thompson kind of saved them the trouble and mixed the syrup with soda water and bottled it and sold it as a soft drink so he didn't have to be uh, comply with the drug regulations. And so he's the inventor of Moxie. So when you leave here, you go down Route 38 to Market Basket, you can buy a six pack of the beverage invented here in Lowell by Augustine Thompson. Um, our next stop is going to be down the avenue a little
hundreds of people come and see them. Um, I think there's some utility to having the book there. It would keep people from sitting on the stone. And it's my understanding that it wasn't that he liked dogs particularly, that the actual chair had dog heads carved in the, uh, in the arms. People who know something about carving stone are amazed at the, uh, the intricacy and the beauty of this piece. And, uh, you know, I, there is a name on the side. Is that yeah, it says um, something Wheeler. Wheeler. Andrews Wheeler.